Hi, this is Jason from the Placer County Museums. I'm here in our old collection storage facility, which we're in the process of moving out of. Behind me are all these agricultural implements we've been going through in order to move them to the new facility. And yesterday, we found something kind of cool, so I wanted to show it to you. It's a, uh, a bear trap. That actually is really heavy. This was a Sewell Newhouse bear trap, which was kind of a big deal. He was the premier trap maker. He'd been making them since he was 17 out of scraps from his father's blacksmith shop. Now, not only does it have Sewell's name on here, it says S. Newhouse, Oneida Community, New York. And yes, that is the same Oneida that makes flatware today. Back then, they were a commune, the history of which is, runs the ragged line of not safe for work, so I won't go into that. So Newhouse joined the commune and started making bear traps for them and also other traps. The bear trap they made about 20 a year, the beaver trap uh, over 7,000. It actually became a huge part of the community was the manufacturing of these traps before of course flatware. Now if we look right here on the pan, we can see that it's a trap number five. That means they only made one that was bigger than this. This weighs about 50 pounds with the chain. It's incredibly heavy. Uh, this says on the on the pan here that it's the Oneida community and then also has Newhouse's name right here and number five. Now because of this lettering and this stamp here, uh, it was produced between 1865 and 1888. I just wanted to show it to you because I thought it was really kind of neat. And now I'll show you how to operate it. Wiley Coyote was doing it wrong. You don't pull the jaws open from here. You press these levers down here and the jaws will fall open. You want to catch this one underneath this little trigger here. And this is called the pan. And you pull that up and that holds everything with the tension of the jaws in place until something steps on it and releases it. Uh, and then things flip closed really fast, really hard. And there's little teeth in here too that go ahead and, and dig in. Didn't show you that because I want you to go around setting bear traps, but you need to know just in case you end up in the Hunger Games, could save your life. Next time you use your Onita flatware on a fancy party night, I want you to think about this bear trap because the two are inextricably linked. So if you want to stay in touch with what we're doing at the museum, you can friend us on Facebook, you can like us on YouTube. Uh, most importantly, come down to the museum and see us in person. We have six museums in Placer County. They are all free and we are dying to see you. All right, see you later.